I think in order to understand distant healing, we have to understand that uh, it does involve non-locality. And to play in non-locality or to introduce uh, intention in non-locality is uh, not easy for everybody. Uh, in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, um, there is a whole chapter on what are called the suddhis or the supernormal powers, which basically uh, includes awakening of dormant potentials. And uh, the great seer Patanjali actually uh, lays out the instruction, bo uh, instruction booklet for awakening these non-dormant potentials that include three, three ingredients, dhyan, dharana, samadhi. So what is dhyan? Dhyan is the meditation process that allows you to quieten the mind and get to the source of thought, which is consciousness. In fact, that's the first sutra. Meditation is the progressive quietening of the mind till we get to the source of thought. Okay, That's dhyan, that's meditation. The second is dharana. How do you introduce a thought in a domain where there is no thought, right? So, the, because the non-local is devoid of any thought process. The non-local um, is totally sub-empirical. There's no data, there's no energy, there's no information, uh, there's only possibility. Uh, how do you introduce an intention there, which is dharna, you know, subtle intention or focused awareness, which is the second ingredient. And the third ingredient is samadhi, which is the, how do you go beyond the subject-object split into uh, transcendence. On the surface, these three seem to be contradictory, you know. How can you have a thought, intention, when you already transcended and gone beyond subject-object split. Mm -hmm. What's the process? Patanjali teaches it, but you can't learn it from a book because it's very difficult to understand even the paradoxes and the conundrums and the contradictions in introducing all three simultaneously. What really happens is you don't totally go into the transcendence. You're at the cusp of the unmanifest and the manifest. So, you know, those are words, of course, in Sanskrit, avyakta, vyakta, vyakti, etc. Um, but in English, you would say, how do you stay at the cusp uh, internally mm -hmm. of uh, the sub empirical and the empirical? Mm -hmm. There has to be some junction point, you know. Um, that you learn through yoga. Uh, but not yoga as in Hatha Yoga, even though Hatha Yoga, by, by the way, is about postures. And, you know, people usually translate asanas as postures, but they're more than postures. They're seats of awareness. You know, when you do the warrior mm -hmm. pose, yes. you become the warrior. Mm. Okay, when you're a humbled warrior, that's what you are. It's, so the postures are seats of awareness, seats of consciousness. That's why we ease into them. So we become them, you know. So asana has a great role. But if we want to make non-local non healing a science, then we have to create new protocols, not the ones we have right now, because the ones we have now have no understanding of how to navigate the world that is non-local.